There we go, we're aiming now, fellas. What up, y'all bunch of goofy goobers? So I've been seeing some weapon overviews from very credible players in the community. People like Chara, Dude, Kiver. You know, creators who've been playing Splatoon at a competitive level for years. So you know what they're saying holds some sort of merit. But I haven't seen many videos from the other side of the coin. You know, from people whose opinion holds no merit. And so that's where I come in. Being a professional casual, I've decided to take it upon myself to spread my wisdom with the community, even though none of y'all asked for it. So for this video, I'm giving my two cents on splatter shots, starting with the basic splatter shot. Emphasis on basic. Right off rip, this thing ain't that special. It's pretty much the standard assault rifle equivalent from any other game, except this is Splatoon. You gotta pray to the Nintendo gods to hit your shots. Now, the RNG on this ain't bad. It's sort of middle of the road, you know. Basic. But if you're someone like me who's got the aim of a drunk, you'll be missing a lot more frequently. One thing you will nope, be hitting nope. though is literally everything else, which, uh, you know, can be a good thing. We do need the paint so we can move around quickly and not rely on our flimsy little toothpicks we call legs. Luckily, the paint output on the splatter shot is pretty good. Helpful for when you're in a sticky situation, you can just book it out of there. Also, there's this thing called fall off where your paint starts falling once it's at the end of its range and fools that are crazy with this weapon seem to be able to hit all of their fall off shots. It's like they got heat sinking ink or something. I sure as hell can't do that or at least not as smoothly as those fools. Bitch hit him! Oh my god, finally! This little fella is also accompanied with suction bomb and triple zooks. Suction bomb is like a splat bomb, but worse. Ooh, it can stick to walls, ooh. Shit, also sticks to walls. Does it make it great? I wouldn't have much of an issue with suction bombs if they didn't take as long as they do to blow up. I sort of just toss them towards a random path to just block it off for a moment, which is not what I want to do with a weapon like this. I want to go in guns blazing and throw everything that got my opponents. Now, triple zooks, however, can help out with this but I just can't use this to save my life. I'll, I'll be the first to admit. It could just be that I don't play enough Zooka weapons to be used to the arc on this thing, because I'd be game blasted into oblivion when a Zooka locks onto me. I, I have my moments at times, but mostly I'm game met with... Nope. Bitch, what? But when you do land those shots, it is really satisfying. It's just that I suck. Now let's talk about the Tentatech splatter shot. Main weapon is the same, you know, just spray and pray. The kit, however, is way better, in my professional, casual opinion. This boy's coming through with the splat bombs and the tri strike. Splat bombs are what suction bombs want to be when they grow up. It's just a lot more satisfying to use. You can chuck them towards someone, you can chuck them randomly in the battle, you can even chuck them at your feet if you're in a tight spot, which you can't really do with a suction bomb. They blow up super quickly, so they hardly give your opponent a chance to react. Oh no. Triple Ink Strike feels like it was perfectly crafted to satisfy my smooth monkey brain. Just throw these everywhere and three giant tornadoes of ink appear on the map. You don't even need to be coordinated with this. Sometimes I just be getting fools from across the map. Now, unlike the Zooka, which is useful in all modes, Ink Strike excels in splat zones and tower control. You can make the enemy team lose control of the zone with just a few strikes. You can create a temporary shield for your team to push the tower and get the lead. You're just guaranteed to cause problems for the other team in these modes if you're rocking ink strikes. As for what gear you should use with these, I don't know. I'm just making sure I'm looking fresh as fuck. All right, splatter shot, we giving that boy a C for Cheerios, the non-flavored kind. And Tentatech splatter shot is getting a B or better. And that's how it shall be. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Damn, son, where'd you find this?